Hello and welcome to the online Parchala videos. In the previous video, in the previous video, we already studied about what is congruence. So to recall that, when we talk about congruence, it is a relationship between two objects where we say that the two objects are congruent. And of course, the congruent means that they are of same shape and size along with which they are measured. So today we are going to see how the two how the two angles are said to be congruent or when we can say that the two angles are congruent to each other so let's take an example here an example is angle abc and we have an angle here pqr so we have to see that angle abc is it congruent to angle pqr or angle abc is it congruent to angle xyz Angle ABC is congruent to angle LMN. So, let's see how we write. This is angle ABC, angle PQR, angle XYZ, and angle LMN. Now, the one simple method is trace and copy method where we trace this ABC, try to copy over PQR and see if they are of the same shape and size or if they are of the same, are they being overlapped and we are not able to see anything from the PQR. Now, there is one simple more method, you just take a protector and then you can uh, find out what is the angle ABC and then the angle PQR and based on that we can also find out what is the angle which is the most common method which we use but to see through our definition of congruence of being of shape similar shape and size so here you can see the first one is completely overlapping on the second one and thus we can say that they are congruent to each other let's see that the first one is overlapping on the third one okay so the second one or the first one is overlapping on the third is not overlapping on the third one sorry so in this case we can say that they are not of same shape and size or they are not congruent to each other definitely if you can see here they are of different angle also just by seeing also you, we can figure out that they are we can estimate that no they are not of the same angle they are of different angles if you want to measure we can draw it and then maybe we can uh, try with the protector now the question arise is is the first and second congruent to the fourth one let's see to the red one you can see here that the ray or the arm of the red one that is element is bigger than that of ABC which makes I'll show it again so which makes it a little confusing that is LMN congruent to ABC or LMN is not congruent to ABC now the question arises: is what against are we measuring are we measuring the length of arm lm or are we measuring the angle of abc and we are saying that the angles are congruent here the measurement or the congruence part or the property is applied on the angle it's applied on the angle and not on the arm so in that case we still can see that the abc is completely overlapping element so angle abc we still say that they are congruent to angle element so let's summarize what we have discussed angle ABC is congruent to element angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR and angle ABC is not congruent to angle X, Y, Z. Okay. So here you can notice that when these two are true, measure angle 
ABC that is the measurement of angle ABC is equal to the measure of measurement of angle PQR is equal to the measurement of angle LMN so the measurement is equal of the angles which makes the angle ABC congruent to angle LMN the same way here the measurement of angle ABC is not congruent to angle XYZ so the sorry measurement of angle ABC is not equal to measurement of angle XYZ we can see again here the figure that they are not of the same equal measurement and that's the reason angle ABC is not congruent to angle XYZ so the property for con of congruence for angle is for the angles so for the angles to be congruent it is required that the measurement of angle are equal and vice versa so basically if the measurement of angles are equal we can say that the angles are congruent to each other or if angles are congruent we can say that their measurement should be equal so this is for today's video in the next video we will talk about congruence of triangles till then goodbye